know, the effect and response that we hope it will have is that it will make the Iraqi government reconsider um, the way it is treating detainees, reconsider the way that detainees under its custody are being tortured and abused, and in fact implement a new policy and a new voice that says torture is not an acceptable policing technique. Depriving uh, detainees of food and water is not an acceptable way to treat detainees in custody. We hope it will cause a change in the way the Iraqi government treats detainees, and we hope it will cause a renewed attention and focus by the U.S. government and the British government in terms of the focus they give to how the Iraqi security forces are behaving. We don't have any information that they're getting direct orders to act this way, but certainly ministry officials at the highest level, the Ministry of Interior, uh, know, know uh, what's going on. And if they don't know, they should know what's going on. So on either level, they are responsible. We have a number of cases where uh, American advisors uh, to the multinational forces and to the Iraqi police have told us that they are in fact aware of the torture. In some cases they have complained about it uh, to higher U.S. officials and they've been told to be quiet about it. In other cases they've just looked the other way. Uh, well, we released it in the spirit of the election, in the spirit of an informed democracy and informed consent. We think the Iraqi people have a right to know um, what their current administration is doing. Um, and we believe that, they, that we hope that the Iraqi people will hold their government accountable um, for its actions against Iraqi citizens. Uh, that's what a democracy is all about. I wanted to focus on human rights as it pertains to your role and your job as police officers in the future. out on the streets as police officers. Thank you.